Price gouging has become a rising concern for grantor consumers. And according to reports made by residents on that island, a few local businesses are allegedly using the catastrophe left behind by Hurricane Ike to increase their profits, even after the TCI government has instituted a duty-free policy for goods coming into the ports of Grand Turk, South Caicos and Salki until September 30th. It's a shame to see how the storekeepers are exploiting the poor people in Grand Turk. Tuna fish, which was once $1, it's put up to $150. The, gar the oil, that was once $5, immediately a, co a pint, it's now $5.90. Everything, prices are skyrocketing. We need the Minister of Finance to put a public announcement. Any storekeeper putting up the goods now should be prosecuted because they're not paying duties. In response to these allegations, mayor suppliers on Grand Turk are saying that these allegations are not true. All the prices are the same. We sell the beer still for $12, $2 a beer. Ken Adams, owner of Bill and Materials Limited, with branches in both Grand Turk and Providenciales, told media officials yesterday that his company has not raised prices and their current prices will remain consistent until the government reestablishes duty charges. We haven't ever changed our prices in any way. We know that rumors have been going around and we want you to know that whatever rumors you're hearing, they're not true. And we want you to know that we are not taking advantage of anything with pricing. And in fact, we have discounted our store, complete everything that's in the store. A 25% discount as long as the government is giving the duty concession that it's now giving. Deputy Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Floyd Hall, says that the government has been receiving complaints of price gouging. Indicating that it has been pr serious price gouging as a result of uh, the, the hurricanes that passed through here uh, and that um, storekeepers were preying on the, the misfortunes of the community. And I'm so pleased to hear Mr. Adams state that today that they have discounted their prices as a result of the discounts that government has passed on to them and that they're sensitive to the plight of our people. And as a result of that, they're doing their part to try and ease the burden uh, in whatever way they can. There were no further talks by the minister of what would be done about these complaints. For WIV4 News, I'm Nakara John.